Hello everybody. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to carve mandibular canine. So let's start it. So these are the things we require. First of all mark 1.1 cm square on all the four sides of the block. Then mark 1.6 cm another square on all the four sides of the block. Mark the central line on all the four sides of the block. Then mark the sides such as labial, mesial, lingual and distal on four sides of the block. Then mark three lines on the upper surface and divide the labial and lingual squares into three equal parts. Mark 5.5 mm on cervical line of the labial and lingual sides and then mark 7 mm on the incisal line of the labial and lingual side then join the points such that they will form a shape like a trapezoid And then we will start removing the wax from the mesial and distal sides. So after carefully removing the wax, we will start marking the mesial and the distal slopes on the incisal edges. So you can see here that the mesial slope is little bit higher in position and compared to the distal slope which is very much slanting and larger in dimension is compared to the mesial slope. So you can see here in the figure and do all the markings and then start removing the wax you can see here it is forming a pentagon like shape or a hut like shape so after this we will mark the central line again and we will mark 7 mm on the cervical line on the mesial and the distal side and start making the curvatures you can see here in this figure that the on the labial side it is very much convex and in lingual side it is flat or a slanting slope so mark accordingly so now we will start removing the wax from the labial side so first of all we will start removing the wax from the mesial and the distal slopes keeping the central portion as it is so that it will form a central ridge the central ridge here is very much less developed in comparison with the maxillary canine so we will make it little bit flat
So after carefully removing the wax from the labial side, now we will start with the lingual side. So we will keep the cervical third area as it is for the cingulum and start removing the wax from the above portion. According to the markings we have done, we will start making a slanting slope which will be very much flat till the cervical third area. In mandibular canine, the cingulum is very much less developed in comparison with the maxillary canine. So we will make it a little bit flat and round and less developed. So now we will start making the lingual fossa. So first of all we will do the marking for the central ridge and using the back side of the carver we will start making the grooves on the either side of the line so that the central ridge automatically becomes prominent or visible. We can see here that the crown is almost ready. So now we will start making the root. So we will start from the labial and lingual side. We will do the marking. The root is very much thin from the labial and lingual side. And it is little bit tilted towards the distal side. So do the marking accordingly. So now we will start removing the wax from the mesial and the distal side. So after carefully removing the wax, we will start marking on the mesial and the distal side. The root here is little bit wider in comparison with the labial side. So we will mark accordingly and then start removing the wax from the labial and lingual side. We can see here the edges are very much sharp so we will make them round and smooth.
the root of mandibular canine is very much tapering and thin in comparison with the maxillary canine so we will make it accordingly we will make its tip tilted towards the distal side and clear the base properly So now we will start marking the cervical line. You can see here in the figure how it is. On the mesial side, the cervical line is very much convex than the distal side. So make it accordingly. After marking the cervical line, remove the wax below the cervical line so that the cervical line is clearly visible after this we will start making the developmental grooves they are in the form of straight lines on the mesial and the distal side So now we will start cleaning the surface of the tooth with the help of cotton or you can simply give a soap water wash but be careful while doing so. So this was the video on mandibular canine. So thank you everybody for watching this. Like and subscribe the channel. Thank you.